What up campers? We're back with something different. This time we're replacing the seven pin connector on our 2005 Ford F-250. Let's get it. So I don't know if you guys have this problem too, but whenever we have our trailer connected, we'll just be driving down the road and all of a sudden the trailer brakes will become disconnected. Like there's just a loose janky connection. I think the prongs inside my current seven pin are bad. So I got a new one on Amazon. I'll link that down below. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and swap those out. All right, this should be a fairly easy install. I don't think we need much. We got a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, some snippers that I can cut the old one off with. And then I got my wire strippers to put the new wires into the terminals. I got some dielectric grease. Of course, the new seven pin connector, a box cutter and a roll of electric tape. All right, first order of business, pull off the old one. And it's not a screwdriver. That's an Allen wrench. I'll be right back. Okay, I lied, it wasn't an Allen key. It's one of these screwdriver, little starry screwdriver thingies. So we got all these loosened up. One of them was a little rusted on, like it hasn't been taken off in 15 years. So we hit it with the old uh, PB blaster. I know it's too bright for you to see, but then they loosened right up. My buddy wants to help out, so I'm gonna let him get those screws out the rest of the way. Boom, look at that. Jay, dude. Pull that out a little bit. Oh, oh. I think we found our connection problem. Oh yeah, look at that. Here, let me crank up the light. So, can you see all this crazy caked on dirt in here? Pretty sure that's why our connection was coming loose. 20-ish years of dirt built up in there. This will be good to get a fresh one on. Okay, so there's just a little clip on this thing. So once you pull out the receptacle, you just push on this clip and it separates from the old plug. I was just going to clean the old receptacle out of the old one and hit it with some contact cleaner, but I already have this part, so I'm just going to use it. The only problem is the whole pattern still doesn't line up, so the only thing I have to do now is get it to actually mount up. So I think what I'm going to do is go sideways like this, and then I'll just mark all these holes tap and drill them out and then we'll reconnect this plug on the back side I'll probably tape everything up just for good measure and that should be it, it should just be like a 5-10 minute job tapped out all the way that way we can use the OEM screws that came with this thing to bolt the new one back on all right those are all tapped out so if we did that right our factory screws should go right back in there just gonna put a tiny bit of this dielectric grease on the connections. That way we get nice, good connection going everywhere. There we go. A little bit of dielectric grease, keep it nice and happy. Okay, and then with this, there's really no way to screw it up because you obviously have the thing that has to line up with the tab. So. We'll just bolt this on there and then reconnect it. Make sure this tab is locked tight and we should be good to go. Oh. 
receptacle is in and looking good. Secured down in there with those original factory bolts. Now we'll just plug this guy after we scrape it out a tiny bit. Give him a little blow. Uh, yeah, so now we'll just line up this clip with the clip that I showed you on the back of the receptacle and make sure that it's clipped on. And that should be it. I don't know if you did, but I heard it click on. Now we can put our five-way back on. And that guy just sneaks on there like that. And there we go. We had to turn it sideways. Hopefully that's not a problem. But that's it. Simple job. Those are the kind we like. So yeah, because our receptacle was still good, we didn't have to change anything with the original wiring. It was just a function of popping off that old receptacle. And honestly, I think I probably could have just kind of cleaned it up with some terminal cleaner or something like that and just got it nice and crispy again. But I already bought this thing on Amazon, so might as well swap it out and make it look pretty. So all there really is left to do is to back the truck up and hook up the trailer and make sure that we're good to go and that we didn't screw anything up. And then just to verify, those are the hazards. So we got both flashers in the back. All right, we got a left blinker. We got a right blinker. Take your foot off the brake. On. Yeah, baby, brake lights are working. And there, we've got all of our marker lights working. So yeah, it worked. Easiest install ever. So yeah, that was it. Super simple. Took about 15, 20 minutes, even including drilling out and tapping the holes. Again, I you saw how caked up this thing was when I pulled it off. And I probably easily could have gotten away with just like cleaning it out, using some terminal cleaner, and then just popping it right back on. But again, we got the other one. So I think, you know, if yours is just have a wobbly connection or your lights are always like coming on and off, then just pull it off. Give it a clean out but if not and you want to just go for the new one it's pretty cheap i'll put the link down below but uh that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you like it hopefully that helped give it a thumbs up consider subscribing until then we'll see you on the next adventure